Dwayne here from The Runner and today we are reviewing the Nike Pegasus Trail 4. So the Trail 4 is Nike's uh, workhorse trail shoe, or it's actually in a hybrid shoe, so it's a road to trail shoe. Uh, really, really light shoe here for the trails, coming in at 289 grams or 10.2 ounces. Uh, that's in a men's size 9 and really good price point here at $190 Australian and $140 US. It's pretty rare to see a trail shoe this light, 8.5 out of 10. Also really loving the price point here, 8 out of 10. So our upper here is a really light engineered mesh from Nike, so the toe box especially is really breathable and light. Uh, we've got some skins around the toe as well, and that's going to uh, obviously add some durability to this really light upper. The heel counter itself, it's pretty stiff, uh, nothing crazy, but you do need a bit of structure out there on the trails. Uh, the padding uh, is, is moderate, so it's not plush, not thin. It's just right. The tongue itself, fully gusseted. Love the tongue here. I love the material of the tongue and it's really comfortable. Does a great job of protecting the, uh, the foot over those lace. So the lacing system here, they're using the uh, Nike, using their tried and tested fly wire, which they bring out in shoes and they bring back in in shoes. So they've got a bit of a double system going on here. But again, that's doing a great job of just locking that foot down onto the shoe. Pretty happy with the lockdown with this one. I've had no uh, slippy, uh, heel slippages at all. So the quality of the upper overall is actually pretty good from Nike, which is uh, a little bit surprising these days. I found the fit to be a little bit narrow, especially in the toe box. Some people don't mind a narrow toe box out in the trails, but I've got a bit of a wide foot. So I actually went a half size up in this one just because of the narrow toe box. Uh, length is true to size though. It's a pretty good looking upper and I'm pretty happy with the upper, 8 out of 10. So midsole, we've got a 36mm in the rear and 26 in the front, giving us a 10mm drop, and it is just a full slab of Nike's durable foam react. Uh, there's no plates uh, in here or uh, airbags or anything like that, it's just a standard uh, slab of react foam. On the trails, it's soft and it's nice and cushioned, however, uh, it's not that good on the road. To me, it just feels a bit bland and a bit vanilla and a bit slappy due to the outsole. But yeah, really nice on the trails and pretty much that's what it's designed for mainly. Nothing really exciting me here in the midsole. It's pretty standard, but no complaints, 7.5 out of 10. So on the outsole here, we've got some good rubber coverage and you can see there we've got some flex screws when you can actually feel that flexibility out on the trails. Uh, the lug depth is 3.4 millimeters. Now that's really close to the previous versions. However, this outsole is better than the previous versions because the lugs are a lot sharper and they are a lot grippier. It's very, very noticeable. I still doubt how grippy this thing would be in that really technical stuff or in those really muddy conditions. But on the gravel roads and on the lighter stuff, pretty much where this shoe is designed for, uh, this grip does a great job. The rubber also extends around and creates a bit of a toe bumper on the front, so nothing excesses like the other one, but that'll do its job. Pretty happy with the outsole here, 7.5 out of 10. So I've just used this one for when, I, uh, when I'm just getting in those daily miles and I've got a bit of a trail one with a bit of a rocky surface. Uh, this is the one that I have been reaching for. Uh, I could probably do it with a normal daily trainer, but I don't want to tear the other daily trainer up, so I'll definitely use this one because it's got that nice hard outsole that's just going to protect the shoe a little bit more. So that goes into who, who this shoe is best for. So if you're one of those runners out there that just does nothing crazy or nothing technical, now this one's going to be great for you. And again, it's a road to trail shoe, so if you've got a bit of road, so if you need to run to the trail uh, on the road and then do your trail running from there, again, this one's going to be Perfect for that job. So similar shoes to this one or other alternatives out there. Uh, think of the Hoka Speed Go. It's a little bit more cushioned and a lot more expensive. We've also got the Innovate Park Claw. So the new version of that one. I think it's the G280. And I'm also anticipating, though I haven't tried it yet, the new Nova Blast 3 Trail version. Pretty happy with the overall performance of this shoe. By far the best feature of this shoe is how light it feels and how nimble it feels out there on the trails. Not super impressed by its performance on the road, again, slappy, uh, but it does what it's designed to do. So it's a buy from me. And if you've liked what you've seen here today, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.